I'm going to come to Dunny first on this. Chelsea today again linked with a move for Karim Benzema. I've seen a mixture of responses from Chelsea fans on this. What are you saying, Gunnar? Are you behind this as someone to come in and help your team score more goals this season? Absolutely. Absolutely. Karim Benzema coming to Chelsea absolutely would love that, and especially considering our strike options now. Those that have watched me just know what I think about Nicholas Jackson and Armando Breyer. I'd, be lo I'd love to see the back of them. But having someone like Benzema in the squad, it also adds something extra to the absolute quality that you'd be having up top. It's experience and not just any type of experience. It's experience at the highest level that has won everything that there is to win in football. And that is something that we've been massively lacking ever since, you know, the ownership has come <coughs> in and what they've done with the squad. So I definitely think that would be a huge positive for Benzema to come to Chelsea. On top of the goals that he'd be able to score, you know, he's 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 a magnificent player now. Granted, a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, he's almost 40 years old. You know, he's, he's a little bit past it. But he's a player that's kind of aged like fine wine. Do you know what I mean? Due to some, obviously, he's not as, as he's not going to be as mobile as some of the younger players, but he's one of those ones that was able to refine his game and use his brain to his advantage as well. So I'd definitely be happy with Benzema coming. My only thing is, though, my only thing is, though, why what gives me a massive element of doubt is the logistics of how this is going to be done. Because as you know, this guy's paid, I believe, over two million a week over there in Saudi Arabia. So I don't know how Chelsea or any other team is going to negotiate that down where they can pay a reasonable wage every single week to be able to have him playing at the club, regardless of if it's a loan. You know what I mean? That goal bonus is going to be heavy, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I... I, I so go on, go on, win this Go on, bro. Go on, bro. I we spoke to this earlier, and I said, you know, I jokingly said, like, Poch is going to play him like DM or right back or something. No, like, Poch is <laughs> and I'm agree with Gooney. I, I think the, the player itself, no problem. I think the logistics are this. And there's reports saying he would have to take a pay cut. I mean, what we're talking about, what, like a 90% pay cut or something, because Gooney knows at this club, we just they rip that wage, uh, the wages down i buy a lot and it's more incentive based now at the the new players that are coming apart from the ones that were bought the previous summer like sterling and, and something like that that's the only thing i have a red flag on is how they do that um i would love him i would love him to come in um like i said i haven't really watched the saudi league so i can't really tell how he's doing or how long it would take my thing is well how long would it take for him to get up to speed I'm already wary about Poch about him injuring our players in training that we've got under contract. So someone on loan is going to be a bit more, I'm a bit wary of. But the player himself, I have no problem. Any Chelsea fan that has a problem with this about just the player himself, I really think you need to take a look at yourself in the mirror when we saw Amanda Broha these past like few weeks. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, you know, just even if he's 36, but I'm 37, 30, I don't care. You know, yeah, I think right. he's still. If you're getting him for like, it'd be like for four months, really, we're talking about, aren't we? Really, four months. I mean, have his first game if we get through to the League Cup final, back against Liverpool, the winner's there. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You know, that's all good. That's the dream. But yeah, the player's fine. It's just the logistics of it doesn't, I don't know how they're going to do that, especially now with like profit and sustainability, they're looking at a lot more and financial fair play. I just don't know how they go about this, you know, unless. Unless they find another loophole, Terry, they do love to find loopholes, these guys. So, you know, it's, a, it's one of those. So, Yeah, like, I, I get that. Saad, Arsenal will link with him as well. And again, it's a mixed bag when it comes to Arsenal fans. Some want him. Some think, no, too old, isn't the right fit for us. He can't press. He can't play the Arteta away. Like, how do you see this? How gutted would you be if Chelsea or Man United even ended up with Benzema when Arsenal were crying out? For a, for a top striker? Uh, furious. Furious, mate. Um, I would rip your hand off for him, mate. Rip your hand off for him. I don't care what it takes. I don't care. Bro, if we have to sell uh, Kai Havertz mid-season, get him off the wage bill, I don't care. To have a fire sale with Eddie and Ketia. Get all these guys out. I don't care. Bring Benzema to my club. That guy is still able, right now, to play at the top level. Still. The only reason why he moved there is because of the whole image rights and, and these deals that the Saudis were popping out. That's the only reason why a lot of players went there is because they were like, you know what? 
come here we're going to take uh, the majority of your image rights um we're gonna we're gonna utilize you and use you to promote our country for people to visit that's majority of why they've been brought there because these guys are massive superstars bro i still think he's such a good striker i think he comes into our system he is there to score goals simple as that with the amount of balls that we cross into the middle he'll get on a lot uh, on the end of a lot of them man i would take him in a heartbeat if he goes to manchester united or chelsea i will be furious furious that we've let that guy go especially when it's a loan deal i'm really surprised he's not linked more back to going back to real madrid and no, really apparently, apparently I, I saw something from madrid extra uh, which is like yeah. a pretty big a journalist that says they said that apparently it's it's off the books they oh. Real Madrid have declined him saying we don't want you back okay which, which is funny because they need a striker as well they got just um, yeah they pay uh <laughs> up front by themselves. Yeah, so but i I, I would take him in a heartbeat man i, I think he's he, he's he's still top top um striker what, man what, what would be the better signing kate this january benzema to arsenal or chelsea or timo Werner to spurs I think <laughs> both do you know what? I think it's hilarious that Arsenal and Chelsea fans think that Benzema would come to your clubs. Arsenal have got Arteta and Chelsea are like a mid-table bang average team. Why the hell would Benzema walk away from £170 million a year tax-free in Saudi to go to a mediocre Premier League club? Please enlighten me because I cannot see any attraction at all. So Chelsea, would... Chelsea is mediocre. Yeah, I can understand that. But and Arsenal have got full Hold, on, hold on a minute. Kate, 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 uh, relax. Remember, go look at your cabinet before you chat about my club. First. <laughs> oh, that's the big deal. Now, secondly, 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 let's let's just let's just put something out right here. Yeah, he may be coming in under Arteta, which yes, Arteta is an experienced manager, he's still a young manager, but <clears throat> Come into that team with the chances that we create when we're in the Champions League. <laughs> you got one win in seven. When we're in the Champions the League. So cool. <laughs> when we're in the Champions League, it's as simple as that. He comes in there, he starts scoring goals for us. It's as easy as oh. that. I think he's still a top class striker. And the fact that you caught you said they're both shit when Terry asked the question is crazy. I don't yeah, know how no, you can put shit shit to because he would never come to use. Oh my god, Arsenal couldn't afford him, first of all. And why on earth would Benzema, one of the greatest players to ever play the game, go and work under full Teta? Please. There is why? Well, oh, because he wants to work with world class Saka. Come on, have a day off, please. It's hilarious. He'll come, he'll, when he comes to the club, if he comes to my oh, club, oh, you win. You'll yeah, see. when? Yeah, when? It's, when it's he's just about, 15, it's just about sorting it. the financials. It's just about sorting the financials. Yeah, of course it That's is. It. Yeah, I but can't there's wait. no, there's no. Put, you're acting like we're a small club trying to you go are. for a big player. You <laughs> we're are really not. I've got you're more league titles. Average. I've got more league titles than you. What are you talking about? Really I'm anything. top three, bro. This is crazy. We're top three in in, in England, and she's called us a small club. Coming you from a are Tottenham fan. Average a Tottenham fan who hasn't seen trophies. a trophy. Forget they trophies. haven't seen a trophy. They got to one measly little Forget Champions trophies, League final. Because that is just and then a childish response. The Come on, man. What's the the trophy thing is, is, is a childish bro? response. Yes, yes because you have none. Rules. Every every Tottenham fan tells me it's a childish mm. response. You have none. That's why it's a childish response. To okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let me ask you a question, Kate. Why are Arsenal a small club, in your opinion? They're not a small club with their history. Of course, they're not. They're a massive club with their history. But at the minute, they've got one win in seven. They've got a shit manager who is a fraud that everybody can see is a fraud. And even Arsenal fans are now saying he's a fraud. So why would Benzema want to go and work <laughs> under him? It's an absolutely madness suggestion to even contemplate that a player like Benzema would go and work under a man made of Lego. I'm sorry. It's a crazy, crazy idea. But let the Arsenal fans dream, you know, let them dream with their world-class the sacker. The fact that this is coming from a Tottenham fan is laughable. It well, is you laugh laughable. away, darling. You laughable. laugh away. Your, your you, best, you man your best your manager in recent, the season. Kate, oh, your, best be manager, none. your best manager in recent in recent years, your best manager in recent years went to Chelsea right now. Look what he's made these guys do. Look what That's he's made these guys do. They're questioning, the they're, questioning, it? they're questioning if Benzema is going to come and actually play at striker. <laughs> What's going on? The question of why Conor Gallagher's having a team built around him. That's your best manager. But your, what's that going to do with me? What, what stupid that's, argument. That's of, of Honestly, it's like arguing with a 12 year old. That's, that doesn't matter. I don't care if Coach is managing someone's mum. I don't care where he is. 
I don't care where Pochettino is. It makes no difference to me. I don't even care about any but team. I'm manager. telling you now, no. if you were Benzema, you were getting £170 million pounds a year, tax-free in Saudi, and someone come to you, you can go and play for Arsenal under Mikel Arteta and play with Martinelli and Saka. You yeah, tell me he's going to go, oh, that sounds like league. an interesting prospect. The reason, the reason why they're <laughs> saying that Benzema wants to leave there is because he wants to come back to the the heights of football in Europe. Well, go football. to Liverpool then. Or go to someone that... Be- Bro, I mean, you're not going to go under Arteta. So, so hold on a minute. Hold on, because Kate Kate has just put herself out here, yeah? So he's gonna he's instead of going instead of going to to Arsenal or in the Champions League, he's gonna go and play Bucharest in in the Europa League and but go out to Lithuania. Lithuania. He's gonna go out to Lithuania just because he wants to. He wants Dude, to have a little bit with Jurgen Klopp. Right. You would, he would be playing it's under a crazy. decent manager alongside excellent players. Arsenal don't so have I, either of those. Said so I know. Even when you said that about Liverpool, I know your heart wasn't even in it because I know you didn't even believe what you just said. You and I both know when it comes to Liverpool, that that's why we can't enter this kind of conversation. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because we already know that if Liverpool were in for him, that's we're good now. That's it. It's done. There's no Chelsea. I just don't no think he'd come to the Premier Arsenal. League anyway. But yeah, and exactly. I'm with Kate. I don't even think he'll even come to the Premier League anyway. But if he, if he does... I feel he'd be more likely to lean towards a Chelsea anyway than he would do an Arsenal regardless. Not because I don't think, forget the money side of things, I just think the type of player that he is, Chelsea, the kind of club that they are, what they need, a number nine, I feel like he would just end up going there. And I think he'd actually do better at um, Chelsea than he would Arsenal anyway. To be honest, yeah. not because I think Chelsea are better than you. The Arsenal are better than Chelsea. Let's get that right. But the type of striker that you say that you need, you say about the chances creation and stuff like that. Nah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it will work like that. I don't think it works like that. I feel like Chelsea would be a better destination for him in the end. But you know, it, it, it is what it is. To be honest, G, but to be the honest, thing I know. Since I got called a small club by a Tottenham fan, this whole conversation <laughs> did not make sense. But anyway, listen, I think him coming to him coming to my club, I, don't, I generally don't think it will be that bad, bro. The amount of chances we create, the amount of crosses that we put into the box, he will get on the end of them. He will I just think you're too... I just think you're a bit too... It's so, I don't want to call him a. I'm not going to call out such a fraud. I don't think he's that. I allow Kate to to, to to say that. But <laughs> I do. I, I do think when it does come to Arsenal, you're so stylistic, which isn't a bad thing. That's definitely yeah, yeah. not a bad thing. But you're so stylistic in what you need and what you require. Having someone like a Benzema, and we already know he is one of, as Kate said, literally one of the best strikers to play the game of football. Like we know he is. I just think that Chelsea just might be for these four and five months, whatever it is, just might be a better destination for him as opposed to going to Arsenal, where I do think you guys are more looking towards you need someone not for the short term. I don't feel like it's Arteta thinks, oh, yeah, I just need it for the next four months. And then what happens after that? He's looking for someone who, uh, an example, I'm looking for a Tony, someone I know I'm going to sign today, but he's going to be here for the next two, three, four, whatever years. Not someone who's only going to be here four months and then you don't win the league and then what happens? <laughs> now you've just signed a guy for four months to do nothing. Like it's, I just don't feel like that's how it's going to work. Not because they are better. It, you are still better than them. It's just more. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't feel like, it's yeah, that. Yeah, and I understand the, the thing is, with FFP as well, Arsenal and Chelsea, neither of them surely could afford to pay even... Yeah, and there's that too. Three and a half million pounds a week. You yeah, know but what I mean? yeah, but it's been well documented that if he comes back to Europe, he knows he'll be going back onto a... A normal European wage, two to three hundred thousand a week. So he's not. He knows that that mm-hmm. money was to. If he wants to leave the Saudi league, he also knows he's got to leave that money. He knows he's not going to get it here. Uh, Ronnie says Benzema is perfect for Hoyland to learn from. I'd love him at Man United. To be fair, Matt here is a gooner. Of course, says Kate. You're signing Werner. We signed Declan Rice. Yeah, and we signed James Madison. I'd have him over Declan Rice any day of the week, darling. Uh, what playing old in midfield? Well, no, but I'd have him at my club above it. I'd have Basuma over Declan Rice. I don't like oh, Declan really? Rice. Oh I would, yeah. I can't stand Declan Rice. I think he's a cocky little brat. Well, look, well, look what Basuma's doing for this country, man. He gets subbed off and they play better. He's got right? malaria. That's why. He's got malaria. What is this, man? What is this, He's got malaria, poor bastard. He got subbed off because he's ill. <sighs> Oh, Lord. Guys, he's he's football with malaria. It's, 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 it's crazy. Madness. 